If you're watching this video, chances are that you're one of the nearly half of American women who claim to be unhappy with their breasts. Whether you were born with small breasts or they've changed in size and shape over time, there are a host of solutions available to get you the look you long for. While a great bra or fashion tape can do wonders for appearances, those sincerely unhappy with their bust size or shape may find surgery to be the best option. Before moving forward with any breast enhancement, there are some basic guidelines you should keep in mind in order to decide which procedure is right for you. And as with any major decision, you should weigh the pros and cons, make sure you're well-educated and informed, and do everything possible to minimize the risks. The first and most important step is choosing the right doctor. While any doctor can call themselves board certified, a true specialist is one that is actually board certified in plastic surgery. Put your mind at ease by checking your doctor's training, credentials, license, and board certification. Next, you need to determine if you're a good candidate for the procedure. A good candidate is one who has realistic expectations and one who is willing to follow the doctor's pre- and post-surgery plan to a T. This should be determined during your consultation and you should be prepared to have an open and honest conversation with your doctor. The more you're able to clearly express your expectations, the easier it will be for your doctor to exceed them. Although one size definitely does not fit all, ideal breasts should be symmetrical and proportionate to your body. And while you probably have some specific ideas for how you'd like your breasts to look, you'll want to educate yourself on all of your options. If you're unhappy with the form and feel of your breasts, talk with your doctor about breast augmentation options. Also known as mammoplasty, this surgical procedure involves the insertion of breast implants. There are several options to consider when getting breast implants that include the material that the implant is made of, such as saline or silicone, the shape of the implant, and the desired size, which varies depending on your desired look. Be sure to discuss with your doctor which implant option is best for your body. If it's sagging breasts that bother you, ask your doctor about the breast lift. During this procedure, excess skin is removed and underlying breast tissue is tightened to support a higher positioning of the breasts. In some patients, breast implants may also be used in conjunction with a breast lift. If you've always been bothered by breasts that are too large, a breast reduction is the only permanent way to reduce their size. Since weight gain can, in some cases, affect your result, it's important that you're at a stable weight before having the procedure. Your doctor should put your mind at ease during your consultation, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Establishing the look that's best for you is the fun part, but it's important to understand potential complications, alternative options, recovery time, and modifications you may need to make to your daily schedule should you decide to move forward with the procedure. Don't forget to ask these questions during your consultation. And don't be afraid to ask about additional fees or payment plans. Gathering all of the necessary information you need will help you make an informed decision. The more you share with your doctor, the more likely you are to be pleased with the final results. So make sure you clearly communicate what you want and, more importantly, what you don't want. Once all of your options are discussed and your questions are answered, it's time to book your appointment.